about 10 to 12 years ago, I was living with my parents and I, you know, I, I grew up with living in my parents' house in, in my little like room that I lived with, with my brother, a tiny, tiny little room, like just a normal bedroom. And I was in my twin bed, you know, mattress, whatever. And we had a garage. And so I cleared out like a little space in the garage. And I, I took my twin bed and I put it in the garage because I just wanted more space. I, I was starting to go, um, you know, really like find myself, become a man. And um, I, I had plans of like taking over the world and just elevating, leveling up. That's why I really resonate with people who like go down that path. And so I take my stuff to this garage and there's like, it's cold in there. When it's like in the summer, it's like, it's hot as hell in there. But I was just happy. I didn't have enough money basically to go have my own spot. I was light years away from that at that time. And I was doing construction at the time too. So I had to save up and get to that point. But in this garage, um, right before I would go to bed, I would read. And so part of my, my formulation of like this massive level up, like me just like conquering the world, I decided to go to my local library and buy five of the best books that I thought in each sector, finance, finance, uh, law, psychology, personal development. I think there was like one more. I don't even know what the book was. I got like f about five books and there was like the top ones. And I, and I scoured the whole library and I believed in myself. Like, I'm like, I'm going to find the best five books that stick out to me. And there, there were really good ones. There were like, one was written by like Donald Trump. The other one was like how to, uh, win an argument every time or something like that, how to influence friends and win friends or whatever that book's called by uh, Earl Nightingale. Everybody knows that one. But here's the problem. I never read the books. <laughs> I never actually, I probably read a page out of every single book. And when I did read it, I didn't even, I wasn't able to even understand anything. My, my, my main point with this is that I, I never even need, I, I'm here where I'm at because I didn't read those books. I didn't do anything from those books. I have no idea what's in those books. What matters most, because here's the point, is I see a lot of people have all these books. Let's say if this was a library and, and they're making their videos or whatever, or they have like, whatever. Like most people have like freaking, like all their like, their collection of books. I'm like, how many of you, how many of the books did you actually read though? Because books aren't to be read, they're supposed to be lived and embodied. I, I didn't embody any of, any of it. I was looking for an outside um, thing that was gonna get me there, but it was the inside. I lacked discipline, I lacked commitment, I lacked uh, the attitude, I didn't have the proper attitude, but all of that right there, those were my books that I should have been discovering and reading right there. I should have been waking up early. I should have been hitting the gym. I should have been hitting the macros. I should have, I should have hired a mentor and a coach at the time instead of reading these books. And at the very least, I should have just, you, how you know where to look is you just look at your own weaknesses. Whatever your comforts are, or whatever is really holding you back, that is the book that you must read right there. And so I hope that makes sense. That, that is the material that you have to discover and overcome until no longer it's a weakness. If you struggle with wake up times, only focus for the next like 90 days of not missing on your wake up time. If you overeat, just hit your macros every single day so you don't overeat. It's purpose over pleasure until the pleasure is no longer like a problem for you. Um, so it all just comes down to how big of like, now, now I have impeccable discipline. Now I have impeccable com commitment. Now I have a great attitude. Now I have the, anything that I set my mind to because of the way I've, I've developed myself and practiced I, you, you literally have to practice at your life. Don't think that you're going to read something or get a job or any of this bullshit. 
You have to practice at being you. You have to practice at being the best you. What I recommend is doing this, and I'll get back to my, my point that I was trying to make, is get out a piece of paper and write out, instead of reading a freaking book, write out your 10.0 best self. How does he look? How does he talk? How does he walk? What does he have? What is, how does he live? Just everything that you could possibly think of and write that down and then write down your weaknesses and then overcome those weaknesses. That is your blueprint. And then you practice, you practice, you practice every single day at living your 10.0 self just like that every single day. And if you could do that for two, three, four, five years, all you got it, now you built the foundation. That foundation, now all you gotta be is like, oh, I wanna be a lawyer, I wanna be a doctor, I wanna be a financial analyst, I wanna be the president, perfect. You've developed the infrastructure to go get and, and do whatever you want because you are the individual that could actually get that. But if you're not the individual that can actually get that, you're just delusional. It's just a dream. So my recommendation is to, to build that discipline within yourself. So uh, whatever you decide to do, if God says, hey, this is what your, your, your purpose is in life, you're ready. If God calls you today and says, hey, this is your mission, will you be ready? Is the man that you've cultivated and created, is he ready? Is she ready? I don't know. That's a job up for you to decide. No more heroes, they ain't ready for the new shit. Hey, just sit back, see how I play it. Shots to switch it up a notch. Let the dough cook on the stove. We turn the eye down, watch the pot. 10 7 10 around my chain, so I told the same amount of shot. Palm, I'm just down them, hugging me, pockets keep growing, nah.